Careful of those letters being... Oh, wait. Uh-oh. Ah! Hey guys, welcome to the Spicy Fam. Um, no vlog today, as we're just going to go with this clip today. Um, I don't know if it's a tag or anything like that. It's just something I'm winging off the top of my head, really. Um, so what it is, um, with my new decision to take on this college course, it's what society would class as, I suppose, a feminine course, you know, because it's hairdressing and stuff like that. And I've had a few comments off, like, family and friends and stuff, and I just don't think it's acceptable because of the way it's made me feel and stuff like that. And just a couple of things I've seen over the past week in, like, general society, which has annoyed me. Like, tonight, I went to the shop, and I walked in and out the shop, and there was a couple of, uh, like, young people, young teenagers that were outside. Um, I walked in and out, and it was fine. And I followed another chap who was rather large, without <laughs> being offensive, uh, offensive in any way. Um, and as he was coming out the shop, they started singing and making like rude gestures gestures towards this bloke and I, I immediately felt really bad for the man because I know him and I've met him before and he's a genuinely a nice guy and these kids decided to take the mick out of him and he did nothing and you know what's bad is I did nothing either but I know it takes confidence to and have the guts to stand up to these people because <laughs> and I could easily get myself in just as much trouble you know, physically and as much as abuse, so you don't put yourself in that situation. So it's hard to see all these bad negativity in the world, and I kind of want to send a new message of being like positive and stuff like that because I noticed, like, I know it probably shouldn't be a profession I should aim for to be a YouTuber because the slightest comments that people make do affect me really, like, a lot. Like even good comments, they really stick with me, but it's that age-old thing of you could have 100 compliments one after the other and you could have one or two negative comments said in that so out of 98 good ones to two bad ones. Most people, especially myself, would focus on those two negative comments and would overthink them because I overthink myself till I just stare at the ceiling <laughs> most nights, which is quite bad. <laughs> So it's good to focus on the good things. Really try hard to do that. Another subject I would like to focus on to is um, it relates to the choices you make in your life and stuff like that. Um, I love shocking people with the fact that, um, that Francesca was planned. We wanted to have this baby. Yes, we are young, but we wanted to have her. I love the fact that I'll still be able to have the energy to run around and play with her in the parks and stuff like that. Even when, you know, 15 or whatever down, years down the time, who knows, I'll still be able to do all these cool things because I'm going to have the energy and I'm going to be old, and, uh, not too old to do them. I don't want to offend, offend anybody saying that. Just I've had a couple of comments again said towards me or hinted at this week and... It's not okay, because if you don't know the false backstory about anyone, you shouldn't comment on it. This is a clip, by the way, that you're watching today, that is basically going to be an introduction into something that me and Tess are going to be doing. If you haven't already, check out Tess's blog that she writes all the time. It's called Your Heart Is Over This. Me and Tess are going to start another channel up, which is going to be basic, basically clips like this, with loads of PMA. That stands for positive mental attitude, if you didn't know. Tess writes a lot about physical appearance, um, how people perceive other people and see other people, and the comments they make, or, you know, when you're in the car and you're driving along, look how fat he is, or look how skinny she is. Oh, can't believe they've got the confidence to wear that. It's things like that. It's like, it's just breeding neg negativity. And... Do you, ever have, do you ever have that moment where you sort of argue with yourself in your head or you think about an argument you're planning to have in the future and you get yourself all stressed and, and worked up and stuff like that? That stress doesn't leave your head as if you actually had the conversation. And it's that stress that applies when you're being negative about somebody else. So instead, when you go to do that, try and pick out something nice about that person. And maybe they're thinking the same about you. You need to consider that. So only do to others 
what you would like to be done to yourself, or only say to others what you would like to be said to yourself. I know I'm going way off point all over the place, but I just want to like get an introduction of what of things to come on this other channel. So hopefully I can get some cool subscribers from this onto there. And Tess is going to be doing some cool vlogs that way. And it's going to be pretty ace, I've got to admit. So my main point today is it's okay to like what you like. Over the years, I go from one thing that I like to another, maybe in the space of a couple of weeks, two years, and things like that. Like whether it be style of music I like, and what I want to wear, how I dress, uh, style of hair, friends I have, and just everyday things. Like food I like, it just completely, you know, like everybody, it changes. But remember, it's okay to like what you like, because... In the past I've said, oh, I really love this band, I really love this music. And you'll get comments from so-called like friends and stuff saying, oh, I don't like them, they're a bit feminine, or oh, uh, they're really whiny or something, whatever. It's okay. If you like them, then you don't need a reason. You don't need to justify to anybody if you like something. If you like this pair of jeans, and nobody else does, and you want to wear them, then you wear them. If, it, you knew, if you know it will make you happy, then you wear them. That's what it's all about. Now trust me, doing what you need to to make yourself happy is the best thing. Because only positivity can come from it. And if you do get any other snidey comments, then whatever. They're obviously not happy in themselves, in how they look, and they've probably not got the confidence to just go with it on what they really want to wear. Because if you told them about this attitude and, you know, they took it on themselves, they would probably come and thank you. But my advice as well is just stay away from the negative people. If you have to, like, put up with or pretend to be friends with someone to get by, then they're just not worth having in your life. So, main message today is it's okay to like what you like. You don't need a reason to like it apart from... I like it. <laughs> so, thanks for watching, guys. Um, we'll try for a proper vlog again tomorrow. If not, I might do an, an, uh, another video like this um, because I'm working all day tomorrow. Blah, blah, blah. Cheers, boring. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. Um, click the little thumbs up button down there. Um, also, click the little subscribe button. I'm not sure whereabouts it is on the screen. I think it's over there. Click the subscribe button if you want to see us every single day. That's completely free and it's fine and it's really cool. Um, yes, I've been AD or the Spicy Nacho from the Spicy Fam. Um, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay? Cheers. Oh yeah, and also uh, I'll let you know about this other channel that me and Tess are going to make. Alright? Cheers. <laughs>